hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl nelly i'm sorry if i just look so glowy and you know but i turned my ac off so the noise wouldn't be in the background of this video so your girl is sweating a little bit but real girls real baddies we don't sweat we glisten <laughs> but hi guys welcome back it's been a little while since i filmed a video so i thought i'd come back with an informative video this is for all my beginner girlies that are just starting off in the gym and they want to purchase a gym bag i got you girl i got you but um if anybody's interested in this set this set that i'm wearing is from amazon um let me know if you guys want me to open up a storefront i will only do it if you guys actually like the things that i'm wearing because i'm not gonna open it if you guys aren't actually interested in it right but anyways i hope you guys are doing well and let's get into my gym bag must-haves or what's in my gym bag whatever the hell i'm gonna call this video i don't know we'll so first things first i gotta show you guys which what gym bag i use so this is what i use Oop. this is just a nike gym bag that i got um from dick sporting good as you guys can see it's kind of like a gray gradient i am pretty much a girly girl but i wanted to keep my gym bag kind of neutral to just not be too loud so that it can like kind of go with my outfits and yeah i really like it it's pretty spacious um it has like a compartment right here and then it has a little compartment right here and then it has a little side pocket and a little front pocket so it's a really nice gym bag dick sporting goods honestly has really good gym bags i actually got my boyfriend another nike gym bag and it's like all black fire i kind of wish i got that for myself but um really nice so definitely check out dicks for um all your sporting good needs but yeah they do have really cute bags but you can also look on like the nike website adidas website you know all those different brands probably give this gym bag probably an 8 out of 10 like it does the job do i wish i had something a little bit cuter yeah but you never know i can always get a new gym bag but for now she does the job and she holds all the things so that's good for me thing that i'm gonna show you just because it's only one thing out of like this section which is electronics that i keep in my gym bag and that's obviously my handy dandy airpod case the top of like the case that i had fell off so i do need to get a new airpod case and I do keep the tile finder on my AirPods because these are my third pair of AirPods and my first pair of AirPod Pros. So I'm not trying to lose these. But this would probably be the only electronic that I keep in my gym bag regularly besides like my Apple Watch. So I always do bring my Apple Watch to the gym with me just to see how many calories I burn. But this is always on me. So this is the only thing that I like physically keep in my gym bag in like the electronic portion you know so yeah this if you guys obviously if you're starting off at the gym the best thing to have is a pair of headphones it doesn't have to be airpods it could be the ones with the strings it could be over the head ones i low-key want some air pod maxes or some beats but if you're starting off at the gym just bring a pair of headphones whatever you have bring it because the music they play at the gym is not cutting it it's not mm -mm. but yeah okay so this is kind of like the food slash drinks that i keep in my gym bag and i feel like first things first this is pretty self-explanatory a water bottle like 
this is just a hydro flask i like this like sucker um straw so this is my everyday water bottle i really like it i think because of this i do drink a lot more water but obviously if you're at the gym you need some type of water bottle it could be a plastic water bottle even though we're trying not to have that much waste but a reusable water bottle is the way to go okay and there should be water fountains at your gym if you go to a decent <laughs> gym so having a reusable water bottle is great it's great for the environment and if you're going to the gym you're sweating and you need to you know replenish your electrolytes all that water is just super important for day-to-day -day stuff but at the gym it's especially important so have a water bottle. next thing the next thing that i sometimes keep in my gym bag sometimes don't it's most likely that i won't because i drink my pre-workout at home and then i go to the gym but on days that um i don't have time to do that i bring a blender bottle and my pre-workout which actually the pre-workout that's in here is the the kayla the kalia i don't know how to pronounce it but um yeah it's this kalia brand it's just like a little like portion of pre-workout that you just put in water shake up the bottle with your blender bottle and that you use um i really like this brand and they actually sent me their own blender bottle but i just like carrying this size blender bottle because it's nice and compact and i really do like this pre-workout this is actually the last packet that i have and this is so much easier than having like a whole pre-workout like container but on days that i don't have time to like take my pre-workout at home i know i'm gonna do like a after work workout then i'll bring my blender bottle and a little pre-workout packet to bring with me and yeah, so if you do take pre-workout, I really like this brand. You should really try out their pre-workout, especially in the little to-go packets because this is super, super useful. I don't know what pre-workout I'm gonna use next. I'm thinking about using OxyShred again because I did try it and I actually liked it. So let me know if you guys have any pre-workout suggestions that you guys want me to try. And you know, I'll definitely give it a go. Okay, so the next thing I have is a rice krispie treat so these things are super just good to have in your gym bag especially on lifting days when you need to feel like a pump because one they're only 90 calories obviously they're not the most healthiest thing but because of like how fast the carbs absorbs in your body it gives you a really good pump in the gym so i really like these just for some like quick energy and they taste great like who doesn't like rice krispie treats i try not to have them too often because these are not the healthiest things but obviously like everything in moderation but yeah it's a cute little snack and honestly it's not going to do any harm next thing in the snack department that i keep in my gym bag is actually empty but i really like these airheads extremes like little just like strip things this is just for like in between like sets or like when I finish my lift I'm about to go do cardio and I just want a little snack okay again not healthy but everything in moderation and I really like them and they're really good so if you guys need like a good gym snack this is fire okay so now let's get into like the meat and potatoes I think that's how you say it the meat and potatoes of your gym bag like really like the essentials the essentials so first things first a rag okay you just need a rag doesn't matter what color it is microfiber in my opinion is the best to spray down your stuff i try to switch out my microfiber towel every week you know just to keep it sanitary and all that but a microfiber towel is definitely important some gyms have like paper towels again that's not really great for the environment so just you can buy like a whole pack of like a hundred of these on amazon that's what i did 
pick your favorite color keep the pack in your car boom you're done next thing i keep is one of these these this is a barbell pad and i mostly use these when i'm doing hip dust i got this off of amazon and i'm not gonna lie this isn't like my favorite thing just because the way it's constructed like when i put it on the barbell like it doesn't just stay it kind of slides around it's not like like i can still do what i need to do like it's fine but um i'd probably give this a six out of ten just because mm, i just feel like there's definitely a better barbell pad out there but if you guys want to do hip thrusts definitely to protect like your pelvis from bruising definitely get yourself some pads people also use it when they squat like behind their shoulders i don't but to each his own you can if you want to or maybe if you're just uncomfortable with the bar on your neck then do it but definitely for hip thrusts this is a great little investment so these i actually just recently bought but they have been making such a big difference in my lift so far and they're just like grip pads you put them on like this put them on like this and i have like the some really deep calluses from just holding the weights and stuff so i got this also like my grip strength is not that great so having these has made such a difference with just holding the weight and picking up heavier weights and also i find that it helps like relieve pressure on my wrist so i really like this and if you have really soft hands and you don't want calluses on your hands mine are kind of going away so i'm really happy about that then definitely get yourself some um grip like gloves obviously they have like ones that kind of cover more of your hand i really don't like those i really like this because like majority of your hands is still exposed except for the part that needs to be protected and i also did get this off of amazon so yeah like i said i will open a storefront and link all these things on there but you guys have to want it so let me know in the comments the next thing i have which is controversial but also mine kind of looks kind of dusty but it's the um the waist trimmer this is just like um a sweet sweat band basically and i know there are a lot of opinions on whether this these things work or not to like flatten your stomach I'm gonna tell you right now I don't think it actually does anything um, I don't really necessarily wear it because I think it's gonna make my stomach super slim and trim obviously you gotta put in the work calorie deficit all that stuff to lose weight you can't spot train whatever I definitely I know that but I don't know sometimes I just like having the extra compression around my stomach especially when I'm doing cardio I like to sweat a little bit more in that area and it just feels nice and it feels right so that's why I like it whether you choose to you know use it or not that's really up to your discretion and like I said I don't actually think it really makes a difference but I just like that extra compression it feels nice so okay so I'm not really the type of girl that wears makeup to the gym so I don't really have like much beauty beauty related things in my gym bag but I do have a lip balm Oop, I dropped it but I do have a lip balm because just working out when you have chapped lips is so annoying no amount of water you drink will help you just need chapstick so this is just an eos lip balm literally i would take any lip balm i have this is just the one that i just threw in my gym bag at that moment so yeah chapstick definitely important then i have this touch power mist hydrating sanitizer obviously it doesn't have to be this type of hand sanitizer but i think it is important to have hand sanitizer in your gym bag because you are working in a shared space when you're at a public gym and just stuff is nasty like it's just that's just that the gym is nasty if you really think about it people are sweating spitting exhaling touching 
things like it's nasty so just keeping this on you is really important just in case you need to wash your hands real quick and just in case you need to sanitize real quick and you can't make it to the bathroom to wash your hands so definitely an essential then i just have lotion these are for days that like i'm wearing shorts i forget to put lotion on my legs my elbows i try not to put lotion on my hands especially when i'm lifting because things it gets too slippery but you know just in case i'm just ashy i just have some lotion then i keep some deodorant i actually had a spray deodorant in my bag for the longest but i just shook it and it was empty so um, this is just like a secret ph deodorant honestly it doesn't matter what deodorant it is but sometimes if you go to the gym after a long day your deodorant that you put on hopefully do i put on deodorant before you know every morning after you take a shower i hope you guys are putting deodorant on you know like a regular person but sometimes like you know just to have it just in case your deodorant is starting to not be as effective as it was i just keep it in here definitely this is probably the number one essential where do you order it okay just it's good for you next thing i don't really use that often because i really like i said i'm not a makeup girly it's okay if you do wear makeup to go to the gym i'm not judging i just don't like it on my skin and nor do if i'm wearing makeup that day i'm most likely wearing makeup after i already went to the gym or i'm usually not going to the gym because like i said i don't wear makeup but I don't know just in case if maybe that day i was out doing stuff and i decided to have a workout i have makeup removal white just in case you just never know i feel like it's definitely something that could come in handy so yeah so that's it guys those are all the things that i keep in my gym bag and my gym essentials there isn't really anything off the top of my head that i could think that i use at the gym regularly besides everything i just showed you but yeah if you're a beginner at the gym and you just want to know what to keep in your gym bag this will kind of give you an idea of what you might need obviously it varies from person to person but i think i got the basics down and yeah but this is the end of the video and i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next one